late. Uh, too late. Uh, hello, hello. 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 Good evening. Evening. Good hello, evening. everybody. Welcome back. How are you? Fine. Sure. Fine. Okay. Good. Graciela, Edwin, it is Cody. Please open your camera, Cody. Okay. Gabriela, okay, tell me. Ademir and Christopher Sanchez, right? Hello, Christopher. Open your camera, Christopher. Floor, welcome, Floor. Welcome Hi. to the new class. Okay, let's start. We're going to start with the with the review. Like always, we have the review, right? Okay. So we're going to go to the to the platform, right? Hey. Hello, hello, who's coming there? Gabriela, Christopher Sanchez, and Roberto. Welcome. Okay, let me share. Hello, teacher. Hello, hello, hello. How are you? Welcome, welcome. Okay, let me see. Here, right? Give me a second. We're going to start with the video, right? Let me share the window, my screen, here, right? The sound, sharing, okay, good. Now uh, we're going to check the video uh, here. Sorry, it's not this one. Give me a second, here, right? Okay, it's, Simple present tense with irregular verb, right? One point C. We're going to watch the video again. Let's okay, watch yes. the video again. Pay attention, please. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn to form simple present statements using irregular verbs. Let me start by explaining verbs. In English, we have two types of verbs, regular verbs and irregular verbs. Regular verbs form the majority of the verbs in English and irregular verbs are a small portion of all the verbs that exist in the English language. We need to learn both in order to achieve English fluency. Okay, regular verbs and irregular. Regular verbs are most. The majority, like I said yesterday, like 90%, 90%. And let's say the irregular, like approximately, right, 10%. In right? this case, we will talk about three irregular verbs that are used all the time to express ourselves. Three irregular verbs. Remember, let's say, Cody, do you remember the three verbs, irregular verbs of yesterday? Yeah, yeah, have, do, and go. Excellent, my goodness. Continue. Please. Have, do, and go. Let's analyze the chart on the screen. Simple present statements with irregular verbs. I, you, we, they. He, she, it. I have a bike. My father has a car. We do our homework every day. My mother does a lot of work at home. My parents go to work by bus. The bus goes downtown. Let's take a look at the examples on the left-hand side of the chart. I have a bike. We do our homework every day. My parents go to work by bus. Okay, and we were learning yesterday that with I, you, we, and they, we use have, do, and go, right? So I say, I have, I do, I go. We do, we have, they go, they do, etc., etc. right? Continue. What we're trying to illustrate in this case is that when forming simple present statements and whenever we use the pronouns, I, you, we, and they, the verbs will not change at all. If we look at the examples on the right hand side of the chart, we want to demonstrate that whenever we talk about the third person, he, she, 
or it. These verbs, have, do, and go, will change. And they change as follows. Have equals to has, do equals to does, go equals to goes. Normally with regular verb, we only add the S, right? Work, I work, she works. They live, he lives. With regular verbs, only the S. But in this case, they change for go, goes, have, has, do, does, right? Okay. Let's analyze the examples on both sides of the chart. I have a bike. Notice how the verb have changes whenever we talk about my father. My father has a car. We do our homework every day. Notice how that changes whenever we talk about my mother. My mother does a lot of work at home. The same with my parents go to work by bus. The bus goes downtown. Now it's your turn to practice these three irregular verbs. I would like for you to form sentences about yourself and relatives and apply the rules that we just learned. Okie dokie. Now, here we have more commentaries today, right? Remember, I won't read the name, right? No más los nombres, because sometimes we make a little correction, right? Here we have these examples. Look. Uh, give me a second. I will give it more. Okay. So give me a second here. Okay, here. My sister doesn't do much exercise. Excellent. My sister is a chi, right? So maybe you say, teacher, but this is does, right? No, because you're using the auxiliary, right? My sister doesn't do. It's not doesn't does. No, doesn't do, right? My father has a job. Alexa does craft for her school. I have a beautiful home. Nice. Continue, right? Ah, group number five, congratulations. I don't do my homework. She doesn't have a car. He doesn't go to the park. Okay, good examples. Alejandra Moreno, but we're going to read the examples. My parents have a house. My parents are plural, so have, right? I go downtown, we do orange juice. Mm, in the morning, I like it. And I have taken, mm, hmm. Okay, Roberto, I have taken. This is simple present, Roberto, what do you think? What is your opinion? Simple present or present perfect? What is your opinion, Roberto? I have taken. No, take. I had take okay, that. Right. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. The sentence is correct, but, but it's in present perfect. I want only simple present, right? So yeah. I, I take the leadership, right? Mm -hmm. And again, you have written, so no, present perfect, no, simple present, right? Do you walk every day? That's correct, yes. Mm -hmm. It's a question, yes. Now continue. My father has a car, good. My mother goes to market. My wife doesn't like the mess. M-E-S-S, -S, mess, right? Or disorder. Mm -hmm. Good. I have a motorcycle. I go to the supermarket on my motorcycle. I go to school. Good. My parents have a house. I go downtown. We do orange juice. Mm, okay, it's repetition. In the same group, right? I have a new phone. Oh, congratulations, new phone. I don't, oh, okay, only little mistake here, right? You go, ah, okay, Graciela. What do you think? It's wrong. You it's go, wrong because you go. You go. You go, right? With the third person. Mm -hmm. Okay, continue. Cory, you don't or you doesn't? You don't go to the church. You every don't day. go, correct. So make correction, please. I have a new cell phone my sister has, my cousin goes, I go, correct. 
I do my breakfast every day. She has three brothers. I go to the to church. Mm -hmm. I go to the supermarket. Market, sorry, and Josh. Ah, here, right, Josh. Uh -huh. Let me see. Capital letter. Uh, Ademir, what is the problem with Josh? Josh. He. No, I know it's a he, correct. But what is the the mistake? Que errorcito hay ahí? Josh. No, 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 no. No, you don't know. Okay, uh, Gabriel. That's a capital letter. The, the Josh, teacher, teacher, but capital letter, right? Mayúscula, mayúscula. Okay. Okay, and then Edwin, do Josh do or Josh does? In this case, it's does because he is a, he talking about Susie and Josh. Josh, is correct. Do. do is correct, right? The only problem is that Susie and Josh are with cap is lowercase. Están con minúscula. It's not the big deal. No es la gran cosa. Carlos Mejía, congratulations, right, to Carlos. And lo, notice that it's tricky, right? Este es tramposo, este, este error. Porque podemos poner das, but that is not. Carlos is correct. Very good, Carlos. Is because we say Susie and Josh do, right? Okay. And my best my best friend, I, I suppose, right, has a, a sport card. Good. Don't forget to copy Piri, right? No se nos olviden los puntos y las comas, okay? Thank you. Now, uh, Beatriz, okay. I have a bike my friend's has. Ah, my friend is plural, right? Uh, it is. Uh, yeah. uh, my friend's has or my friend's have? What do you think, it is? My, uh, my friends has or my friends have? I think have. Have, correct. Have. So my friends have. Make corrections over there, right? My sister does, correct. Excellent. And my parents go. Okay, let me see. Oh, we have many examples. We're going to read the last one because of the time, right? I have a Samsung. Oh, my father has an iPhone too. Excuse me, nice. You do your homework. My brother does his homework, correct. So congratulations. I need you continue giving examples in the discussion. Uh, I like this group, but everybody works. Todos trabajan en este grupo. Congratulations, I like it. Okay, and now to finish this, we're going to go to the uh, check, right? Knowledge check. Okay, class, remember this is, this is personal, right? Este es trabajo personal, okay? And yesterday I was telling you that when you have plural, for example, my parents, you say have or has, okay? I suppose all of you finished. Creo que todos lo terminaron ya, me imagino, right? So yeah. we, can, we can make the, the option, right? Now, please tell me. Uh, number one, my parents have or my parents has? No, excuse me, here, right? A house in the suburbs. My parents have or my parents has? Tell me. Have. Have, correct, right? Okay, uh, I, I hope you finish. Espero que todos lo han terminado, porque si no sería trampa, ¿ok? Ok, let's continue. My mom and dad, my mom and dad, eh, Sara, Sara Quintanilla, Sarita, please. My mom and dad have or my mom and dad has? No, excuse me. Goes or go? Sara? My go. Go, correct. Mm -hmm. My parents are very busy. So I do or I does. Uh, Maria Maya. Welcome, Maria. Welcome. So I, I do or I does, Maria? I does. 
my parents. I, I do, I, no, 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 but remember is my parents are very busy, comma. So I. I do. I do, correct, right? Now, my brother doesn't live with us. He, he have, or he has. Maritza, Maritza Cañas, please. He have Hello. or he has. I he have or he has? Has. He has. Correct. 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 Right? Now, let me see. Um, Erika Privado. Privado is last name, right, Erika? Erika? Yes. Okay, thanks. thanks. Okay, Erika. Uh, he goes to school or he go to school? I don't know. I think that is um, golf. Goes, correct, right? And finally, he does or he do his homework. Jamie, Alexandra, please. Jamie? Hi. He do or he does, Jamie? Um, ¿Cuál es? Es la... la... And he, he's more he... at night, right? So you have two options. Do or does? Do or does? He do or he does his homework? Jamie? Does. Does, correct, right? And three more. I, a new friend. I have or I has? Let me see. Uh, vamos a ver quién más está. Okay. Jose Lobo. Jose, welcome. Jose, can you, okay, good. Hello, teacher. Hello, hello. I have or I has a new friend? I have, teacher. Excellent. Have. Continue. Uh, Miriam Gonzalez. Miriam Gonzalez. Can you hear me, Miriam? Miriam, oh, okay, yes. good, good. Good yeah. evening. Good evening, welcome. His name is Jason. We go to the same school or we goes to the same school? Miriam? We go to the same school. Perfect. And finally, Mr. Brian, Brian Pinto, please. Welcome, Brian. And sometimes we, we do or we does. We do. We do, correct. So you can make the next exercise, class. Congratulations to everybody, eh? Congratulations. Okay. So I will pass the list in this moment. Let me see. Um, very fast, right? No, we're going to do something. I will show you the, the another video and then I will pass the attention. Cuando les enseñe el video para no hacer, hacerlos perder tiempo, okay? Now we're going to go to the PowerPoint presentation for today. PowerPoint presentation. Okay. No, this is not Pizza Hut. No, it's the presentation for today, right? Okay. Uh, today we're going to see simple present questions and one conversation. And the conversation is, I get up at noon. Right? I get up at noon. And reading. Give me a second. Reading. What's your schedule like? ¿Cómo es tu horario? What's your schedule like? This is the class of today, right? This is the class of today. Now, we have the lesson objective here, right? The lesson objective is by the end of this class, you will be able to form, it says two, two, but it's only one, to form simple present questions. Additionally, you will practice a conversation about daily routines, which illustrate how this topic is used in a real life setting, right? So today, listen, simple present questions, sorry, simple present questions. And one conversation, right? Okay, very good. So the vocabulary for today, the vocabulary for today. So 
Listen, please. Early. Late. Get up. Noon. Weekends. Breakfast. O'clock. So, class, repeat after me, please, but remember, microphone off. Con los micrófonos apagados, right? Repeat after me. Early. Late. Get up. Noon. Weekends. Breakfast. O'clock. Okie dokie now. Any question about the meaning? Do you understand the meaning? Questions about the meaning? No? No questions. Okay, good. You understand? Todos entendemos el vocabulario? Entendemos el vocabulario? Yes? Yes. Yes, okay. Good, I can continue. Yes. Right. Now, uh, today we're going to learn, I say, simple present questions, right? The simple present questions. And to learn what is uh, the simple present question, we need to, to understand what is auxilia, uh, auxiliaries, right? Auxiliaries. And we're going to use for simple present question, the auxiliary do and the auxiliary does. Remember, in Spanish, no auxiliaries, okay? No, they don't exist. No existen los auxiliares en español. No existen, solo en inglés, okay? In Spanish, we use the, con, the verb conjugation. En español, lo que usamos es la conjugación del verbo, okay? So for that reason, we don't need auxiliar. No los necesitamos. Only in English, they use the auxiliar, right? In this, in this case, we have the auxiliaries do and does for simple present questions. Also, we use them in negative, right? Not in, 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 in affirmative, only in negative and in questions. And we use do for I, you, we, and they, right? Remember, do not confuse do with the verb, right? No hay que confundir el verbo do, auxiliar, con el verbo do, regular, right? Because I can say, do you do your, ex your exam? Or do you do your homework? So, uno se usa como auxiliar y el otro como verbo principal, pero son iguales. Do, do, or does, does, right? Son igual. Don't, don't confuse, please. So I say, do for I, you, we, and they, and does for he, she, and it, right? Okay. Good. Let's, let's make a little quiz, right? Very fast quiz. Uh, let me see. Suleima Magaña. Suleima? I will tell you a uh, uh, subject, right? Suleima, can you hear me? Hello? Okay, so Brian, very. Brian Pinto, please. Brian? Okay. Hello. I will tell you one subject and you tell me do or does. Do or does, okay? Ready? Okay. He? Does. Okay, okay. Now, Miriam Gonzalez. Miriam. We. Yes. We. Do. Okay. Griselda. Griselda. Hi, teacher. Hi, teacher. Okay. Eat. Does. Does, right? Does. 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 <laughs> Christopher Sanchez. Christopher Sanchez. You. Sorry? You. You. Uh -huh. Do. Excellent. Now, more difficult. Jamie. Jamie. Hi. Pedro. Hi. Pedro. Pedro do or Pedro does? Do. Mm, does. Does. Because it's Pedro a Pedro does. And yes. Erika. Uh, yes. My, my parents, Erika. My parents. My parents is do. Okie dokie. And let me see. Carlos Dominguez. My father Hi, and I. Good evening. My father and I. 
Das. Mm. My father? Uh, 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 yes, we. Right. Do, 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 do. 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 Correct. Very do. good. And one very difficult for Flor. Flor, this is very difficult. Listen. Children. Children. Do. Excellent. And one very difficult, right? Singular mouse, plural mice. Huh? Okay, it's, it's a regular plural, right? So Edwin Romero, mice, but I'm not saying mice for tortilla, no, it's mice is for, for mouse, right? Mice, mice do or mice does? Mice is do. Do, correct. Okie dokie, no, let's continue with the, with the PowerPoint presentation. Okay. Good, let me see. Okay, now. So, we have, again, I, you, we, or they do, right? He, she, and it, that, right? Okay, now, let's continue with the next, right? Yes, no question, and information question. What is the difference between yes, no question, and information question? Listen, this is an example. Are you a student? Christopher Sanchez, are you a student? Um, yes. yes or no? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. No, yes, I am. Sorry, yes, I am. Yes, I am. Okay. Are, oh, are you a teacher, Christian? Christian, are you a teacher? No, I don't. No, no, I am not. No, I am not. No, I am not. Okay, so do you understand that these are two possibilities? Oh, yes or no? Yes, I am. No, I am not, right? Okay. Jose Lobo, can you speak English, Jose? Ken, Ken, can you speak English? Yes, I am. Mm, yes, I can, right? Yes, I can. Okay. Okay, yes, I can. Thank and you. Miriam, Miriam, can you speak? Yes. Can you speak French? Le Mademoiselle parlez le français? No, I cannot. No, I can, right? So it's. No, yes. I can. Yes, I can, or no, I can. Only yes or no, right? Yes or no. Two possibilities only. Huh? Two possibilities, right? Now let's continue. Do you live in San Salvador? Let me see. Um, more participants. Suleima? Hello, Suleima. Okay, now just listen, right? Uh, do you live in San Salvador, Suleima? Hello? Okay, creo que tiene problemas con el audio, Soleima. Okay. Uh, let me see another student. Uh, Griselda. Griselda, do you live in San Salvador? No, I live in Metapan. So you say, yes, I do, or no, I don't. No, I don't. Excellent. No, I don't. Okay, do you live in Metapan, Griselda? Yes, I am. No, 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 no. No, no. Yes, yes, go. I yes, I do. Yes, I do. Ah, yes. Okay, so two possibilities, or yes or no, or yes or no, right? Are you a student? Yes, I am. No, I am not. Can you speak English? Yes, I can. No, I can't. Do you live in San Salvador? Yes, I do. No, I don't, right? Okay. Or yes, no are only simple. Or yes or no. Okay, now, information, where is my pencil? So you say, where is my pencil? <laughs> yes, I am. <laughs> no, right? No. Oh, yes, it is. Mm, and incorrect, right? Where is my pencil? My pencil is on the table, for example. Huh? So in this case, information is specific information. Huh? What can you do? What can you do? Yes, I can't. No, I can't. And incorrect, right? What can you do? Uh, I 
I drive a motorcycle, I ride a motorcycle, sorry, for example, right? Uh, when can you come? Cuando puede venir? Right? When can you come? Again, you don't say yes or no. You say uh, tomorrow or, or next week, etc., etc. So where is place? What is things? Cosa, right? Abstract or, or concrete, right? Abstracta or concreta. And when refers to time. So specific information, okay? Do you understand the difference? Between yes, no, and information? Yes. 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 Okay. Yes. Can I make questions? Okay, so here we go with the question, right? Okay. Let's start with Graciela. Graciela, give me one example of yes, no question. Yes, no question. Uh, are you our teacher? Excellent. Yes, I am. Okay. Yes. Now, uh, Iris, Iris Herrera, please. Information question. Iris? Yes, 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 yes. Uh, information question. Um, Excuse me, Iris. Where do you live? Where do you live? Uh, I live in Metapan. Okay, you see, this is the information. Okay, now you give me other example. <laughs> Other example. Uh, uh, what's he? Oh, uh -huh. yeah. What's what, he what, like? What does he like? Oh, what, what do you like? Uh huh. What, what do, do you like? Do, or... What do you like? What do you like? Mm -hmm. Correct. Excellent. Good example. Yeah. Cody, Miss Monterosa, yeah. please. Yes, no question, Cody. Uh, do you feel good? Do you feel good? Yes, I feel good. Yes. yes. Uh, but is information question or huh? not? Information question. Good? Listen, no, listen. No, please. that just or not, verdad? Do you feel good? Right. Yes, I do. Yes. Yes, I do. Okay. Yes, I do. I feel good, you know. Yes, okay. I do. So it's a yes, no question. Okay, uh, Roberto Quijano. Yes, sí? no question, please. Yes, no question. Are you a doctor? Are you a doctor? Yes. Mm -hmm. Excellent. And to finish, Carlos Quintanilla. No, Carlos Dominguez. Sorry, excuse me, Carlos. Carlos, eh, important Hi, question. Uh, uh, where is a notebook? Sorry? Where, where is a notebook? Where is a notebook? Where is your notebook, right? Other thing for information question are WH. Otro nombre que recibe este tipo de preguntas es WH, porque todas tienen una W y una H. ¿eh? Uh -huh. That's why in English they say WH questions. ¿eh? Uh -huh. But do you know the difference? You know, ¿Sabemos la diferencia? Yes? Yes. Okay, continue. No. Yes. Okay, continue with the presentation, please. Okay. Yes, no question. I say, are you a student? Can you speak English? Do you live in San Salvador? Any information is what is my pencil? What can you do? When can you come, right? And also the pronunciation is, are you a student? And the pronunciation is, where is my pencil? One is up and the other one is down, right? Okay, now, this is the structure. Pay attention, please. The yes, no question how auxiliary do or that, right? Do you like pizza? So you can say, yes, I do, or no, I don't. Does she live in Metapan? Yes, she no. does. No, yes. she doesn't, right? Okay. Then in information question, we have other structure. We have... Uh, when do they go on weekend? No, sorry. 
when do they go on? No, sorry, that is a mistake. Aquí hay un errorcito, aquí nos equivocamos. Es where, aquí tenía que haber puesto where. Perdón por el error ahí. Where es aquí. Where do they go on week? ¿A, do, a dónde van los fines de semana, right? Where do they go on weekends, right? And what does he like to eat? ¿Qué le gusta comer, right? What does he like to eat? So pay attention. Auxiliary do and does. The subject that it could be you, he, they, Pedrito, Maria, Juan, Pido, etc., etc. And the verb. It could be regular, like, live, work. Or it could be regular, go, have, do, etc., etc., right? Notice, pay attention, that when I use the auxiliary does, it's not necessary, it's not necessary to say the yes. S. Mm -mm, not necessary. It's not necessary to say that she lives. No. Is that she live, right? La S desaparece porque usamos el auxiliar. Okay? Doesn't. Doesn't. Continue. Question word. It could be when, where, donde, cuando, por qué, eh, etc. etc. Right? So, when do they go on again, right? Is where, sorry, where, where do they go on weekends, right? Again, the auxiliary do and does, the subject, the verb, and the comment, right? What does he like to eat? Mm -hmm. What does he like? Again, because I use does, it's not necessary to say likes. No, it's not necessary. Okay? Good. I finish the presentation. Any question? Any question, class? It's time for questions. No question, teacher. No question. Pueden usar español si quieren. Any question? No, teacher. No? Sure? No. Okay. no. Teacher. Yes, yes, yes. Ahí tengo una pregunta. Me gusta, me gusta. Come on, who is it? Yo, yo en la plataforma, justo en el ejercicio de, de, de esto, nos daban, hay uno donde nos dan desordenado y tenemos que formar este um, la oración, la oración. Uh -huh. pues en uno por más que, que pues no le encontré okay. todo lo demás estuvo bueno pero esa justo vamos a ver si es, hay un error verdad si fuera un error de la plataforma lo vamos a reportar pero si no tal vez faltó un punto una mayúscula por ahí. Es justo, es justo donde tendría que ser. Um, Tal vez no me le puso el punto al final a la oración, no sé. No sé ¿verdad? Tenemos que verlo. Vamos a repasar ese, ese, después del video. Ah, ok. Parece, para que, no les puedo dar la respuesta, pero sí les puedo decir yo una, una pista ahí, para cómo lo pueden hacer, ¿verdad? Ok. Uh -huh. Good. Another question? Otra preguntita por ahí? No? Okay. No, let's continue. So, oops. Uh, let's continue here. Let me see. Okay. Now, give me a second. I will close this. And I will share the, the window, right? The, the screen with you. Okay, let me see here, right? Here, yes, here, right? Uh, this is my sister. Give me a second. Vamos a ubicarnos acá. Okay. Uh, yes. Se lo vimos. Estamos. Okay. Y aquí estamos. The lesson objective, también ya lo vimos, ¿verdad? Ok, ahora sí vamos al video. Ok, listen. Simple present questions and conversations, right? Can you read? Can you see? Yes. yes. Ok, good. Vamos a agrandarles aquí el video, yes. Ok, pay attention to the video, please. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn how to form simple present questions. 
Additionally, you'll practice a conversation about daily routines, which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. I would like to get started by practicing a conversation, which illustrates how this topic is used. Let's listen and practice. Let's go to the park on Sunday. Okay, but let's go in the afternoon. I sleep late on weekends. What time do you get up on Sundays? At 10 o'clock. Oh, that's early. On Sundays, I get up at noon. Do you eat breakfast then? Sure, I have breakfast every day. Then let's meet at this restaurant at 1 o'clock. They serve breakfast all day. Which is heard a conversation yeah. in which well, lots of breakfast every day. Then eh, por ahí oigo un micrófono encendido. Si me hacen el favor, porque no sé quién lo tiene encendido. Okay, thank you. Now, listen and repeat. I say again, right? With the microphones off. Todos los micrófonos apagados, okay? Now, repeat after me, please. Let's go to the park on Sunday. Let's go to the park on Sunday. Okay. But let's go in the afternoon. But let's go in the afternoon. I sleep late on weekends. Sleep. Weekends. What time do you get up on Sundays? What time do you get up on Sundays? Sundays. Get up. At 10 o'clock. Oh, that's early. Oh, that's early. On Sundays, I get up at noon. On Sundays, I get up at noon. Do you eat breakfast then? Do you eat breakfast then? Sure. I have breakfast every day. I have breakfast every day. Then let's meet at this restaurant. Then let's meet at this restaurant at one o'clock. At one o'clock. Then let's meet at this restaurant at one o'clock. They serve, they serve breakfast all day. Good. So I need one volunteer, please. No, two volunteers, excuse me, to, to read the conversation. Me. Okay, uh, who's me, Miriam? Cory. No. Cory, okay, thank you, Cory. Cory, say your name, please. I don't, I don't know who's the other. Es que ahorita no lo veo. Uh, I'm Graciela. Graciela, okay, thank you, Graciela. Okay. So, Graciela, you're, you're Jack, and Cody, okay. you're Amy, right? Cody, Amy. Okay. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, directly from Hollywood, California. <laughs> okay, let's go to the park on Sunday. Okay, but let's go in the afternoon. I sleep late on weekends. What time did you get up on Sunday? At 10 o'clock. Oh, that's early. On Sunday, I get up at noon. Do you eat breakfast then? Sure, I have breakfast every day. Then let's meet at this restaurant at one o'clock. They serve breakfast all day. Good, good pronunciation. Sorry, I don't have time for more practice, right? Me gustaría que todos lo practicáramos, pero we don't have enough time, right? Sorry. But you can practice at home, okay? Ustedes se pueden practicarlo en casita, okay? Now, let's go. Let's meet at this restaurant at one o'clock. They serve breakfast all day. Which is heard a conversation in which ah, lots sorry. of questions were asked. To tell you something, right? Uh, do you see yes, no questions? 
¿Pueden ver ejemplos de preguntas de sí y no por aquí en la conversación? Yes. Yes, yeah, right. Do you eat breakfast then? Ok. Information question. ¿Alguna pregunta de información? What time did you get up on Sunday? Good. Excellent. What time? Notice. What time? Auxiliary, subject, and verb, right? And complement. Do you eat breakfast then? Do, auxiliary, you, the subject, eat the verb, and then the complement, right? Excellent. Now. What time do you get up on Sundays? Let's go. Asked all day. We just heard a conversation in which yeah. lots of questions were asked and answered. I would like to explain how these questions are formed. Let me start by explaining the auxiliary verbs that are used when forming questions in the simple present. Do and does are the auxiliary verbs. As we start forming questions, you must also understand this rule. Do equals to I, you, we, and they. Does equals to he, she, and it. This means that we will use the auxiliary do whenever we use the pronouns I, you, we, and they. And we will use the auxiliary does whenever we use the pronouns he, she, and it. Having said this, let me write the formulas to form questions. For yes or no questions, do or does plus subject plus the verb plus some kind of complement. For WH questions, WH word plus do or does plus a subject plus a verb plus some kind of complement. Now let's take a look at the simple present questions on your screen. Do you get up early? No, I get up late. Does he have lunch at noon? No, he eats lunch at one o'clock. Do they drive to work? Yes, they drive to work every day. What time do you get up? At ten o'clock. What time does he have lunch? At one o'clock. When do they drive to work? Every day. On the left side of the chart, you can see yes or no questions. So if you recall the formula that I mentioned a minute ago, for yes or no questions, do or does, plus the subject, plus some kind of verb, plus a complement. Uh, we're going to take the first example. Do you get up early? Do is the auxiliary verb. You is the subject. Get up is the verb. And early is the complement. And of course, we need to add a question mark at the end. The next question. Does is the auxiliary verb. He is the subject. Have is the verb. Lunch at noon is the complement. Of course, we need to add a question mark at the end. Now, let me show you WH questions. Once again, if you recall the formula that I mentioned a minute ago, for WH questions, WH word plus do or does plus the subject plus some kind of verb plus some kind of complement. Uh, let me select the first question on the right side of the chart. What time do you get up? What time is the WH word? Do is the auxiliary verb. You is the subject. Get up is the verb. And let's just analyze one more example. What time does he have lunch? What time is the WH word? Does is the auxiliary. He is the subject. 
have is the verb. Lunch is the complement. Now it's your turn to practice these concepts by making as many examples of your own as you possibly can. Focus on making questions and answers. Form questions about the routine of your family, friends, and coworkers. After you complete this task, share it in our discussion forums. Okay, students, so because of the time today, I, will, I won't ask you many questions, but you can, uh, in the video, Remember, uh, you have a discussion, a place where you can uh, give your commentaries. So I need you give me example of yes, no question and information question, right? Uh, in your vacations. And if you want to write, I will dare to help you, right? Si me quieren escribir, pues no voy a estar en la playa del Tunco, no, ahí voy a estar ayudándoles. Teacher, quisiera hacerle una pregunta que no tengo muy clara. Okay, en, cuan, en, en, en cuanto al verbo do, ¿cuándo, eh, ¿cuándo es verbo y cuándo es auxiliar? ¿Cómo okay. reconocer eso? Ok, uh, remember that they use auxiliaries in questions and in negative, right? Ajá. So, when we use the simple present, siempre la oración tiene que estar en presente simple, right? No in past, no in future, no in present, simple present, ok? Okay. Simple present, when you have a question and when you have a uh, an negative sentence, so in this case, you use the auxiliary do. In ese caso, el do es un auxiliar. Okay? Questions, negative question. And short answer, también las preguntas cortas, respuestas cortas, sorry. But mainly, principalmente, preguntas y oraciones negativas. In that case, do... Is an auxiliar. In ese caso, el do se convierte en auxiliar. Okay? But when it comes after the subject, pero si viene después del sujeto, entonces es un verbo. It's a simple question. Le voy a hacer una simple pregunta. What do you do? ¿Qué haces tú? What do you do? Ahí tenemos los dos do. Do and do. Okay? So, eh, como es pregunta, Ya dijimos que en todas las preguntas, en presente simple, simple present, you use the auxiliary do, right? So listen, what do? Ese do es el auxiliar, what do? Y después del sujeto, you, viene el verbo. What do you do? Ahí está el verbo, ¿ok? En este caso significa hacer, hacer algo, ¿ok? Hacer algo que alguien hizo, ¿verdad? Pero o sea, hacerlo. So... Okay, gracias, teacher. The, 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 the difference. Yeah. Okay. Bueno, es el mismo verbo, pero la diferencia mm -hmm. en el uso. Cuando mm -hmm. va a ser auxiliar y cuando va a ser verbo común. Okay. Okay. Thank okay. you. You're welcome. You're welcome. Other other question. Okay, okay. So let's continue. Now down here, right? Ah, ya tengo ejemplos. Yes. Let me see. Uh, simple, yes, I get up. Yes, very good. Ya tengo ejemplos acá. Congratulations. Yes. Okay, uh, so after vacation, we're going to read them, right? Después de vacaciones lo vamos a, a, a ver, okay? Now, let's go to the knowledge check, check, right? Knowledge check. Good. Esto me lo van a hacer en vacaciones, chicos. Ya no tenemos tiempo, okay. Listen, he says, uh, unscramble the questions. Vamos a eh, ordenar las preguntas, ¿ok? So it, it's simple, right? Váyanse por lo más simple. You recognize when it's yes, no question and information question, right? Ya reconocimos cuando es pregunta de sí y no y cuando es pregunta de información, right? Es lo primero que tienen que hacer. Describir cuál es. En la primera, en el ejemplo. Is do everyday exercise you. Ah, ok. Pero como no tengo un what, un where o un when, no tengo ninguno. Eh, entonces no es pregunta de información, es una pregunta de sí y no. Ok, es pregunta de sí y no. Por lo tanto, la estructura va a ser auxiliary, subject, there, right? Y entonces nos vamos ordenando. Primero el auxiliar, do. Ahí está el do. 
the subject, the sujeto, you. Okay? And then the complement. Ah, the verb, excuse me. The verb. What, what is the verb? The verb is exercise. So do you exercise? Y lo demás es complemento. Okay? Let's go to the next one. Aquí se hay un what. Por lo tanto, vamos a hacer la estructura del information question. Entonces, lo primero que vamos a poner es la pregunta de what, where, when, why, etc. Entonces, ponemos esta y decimos what. ¿Ok? Y de ahí nos vamos con lo demás, porque este creo que sí es el ejercicio. ¿verdad? ¿Ok? Sí, este creo que ya es el ejercicio. Oh, yes. Ya no es el ejemplo, ¿verdad? Ok, pero ahí nos vamos. Primero el WH, después nos vamos con el auxiliar y por último con el verbo y después el complemento, ¿ok? ¿Yes? Eh, lo hacemos por favor en vacaciones y después cuando regresemos lo vamos a chequear. ¿Ok? Good. Now let's go to the last exercise. Nos vamos al último ejercicio. Vamos a ver un video de un reading. Ok. Pay attention, please. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll develop skills in predicting, scanning, and sequencing events after reading and discussing three interviews about schedules. Reading. What's your schedule like? Student reporter Mike Starr talks to people on the street about their schedules. Brittany Davis, college student. What's your schedule like? My classes start at 8 a.m., so I get up at 7 and take the bus to school. When do your classes end? They end at noon. Then I have a job at the library. So, when do you study? My only time to study is in the evening, from 8 until midnight. Joshua Burns, website designer. What's your schedule like? Well, I get up at 6.30 a.m. and go for a run before breakfast. How do you go to work? I work at home. I start work at 8. Around 1, I take a lunch break. How late do you work? Sometimes I work all night to finish a project. Maya Black, rock musician. What's your schedule like? I work at night. I go to work at 10 p.m. and I play until 3 a.m. What do you do after work? I have dinner. Then I take a taxi home. What time do you go to bed? I go to bed at 5 in the morning. Okay. So after this reading, after the reading, right, you uh, go to the knowledge check, otro pequeño laboratorio ahí, y me lo contestan, right? Uh, I will monitor in on vacation, okay? Voy a estar monitoreando en vacación. So then we have two knowledge check. Tenemos dos prácticas para vacaciones, okay? Uh, y yo los voy a estar monitoreando desde la playa en Mahawala. No, no uh, teacher, from, pero, in my home, right? Sorry? Pero la otra semana van a ser clases normales, de lunes no, no, a jueves. No, no. Oh. We have vacation. Vacation, it is. We're going to start on Monday 10. Vamos a comenzar el lunes 10. Las clases son de lunes a jueves, pero esta semana, como comenzamos martes, por eso tuvimos ahora la clase. Pero ya del 10 en adelante va a ser de lunes a jueves. Ah, ok. Terminando el 28 de agosto. Ok. ¿Any other question? ¿Otra preguntita? Recuérdense que ustedes pueden hacer los ejercicios solitos, pero si hay algo en que no... ¿Verdad? Eh, yo les voy a echar la mano ahí. Eh, por ahí al principio alguien me preguntaba sobre la puntuación, ¿verdad? Pues, pues no sé, eh, quizás lo podemos ver en privado, no me acuerdo quién me preguntó sobre la puntuación. Eh, yo le pregunté sí. porque justo en ese último donde están desordenadas, ¿verdad? Sí. Está uno y pues yo ¿Qué, ya... ¿Cómo es? ¿Qué número es? Eh, creo que es la cuatro donde dice at stardust eight eh, que ajá que yo que es una de yes or no que empieza con das 
Ok, yo le, lo voy a revisar y le mando mensaje al grupo para que todos lo entendamos, ¿ok? ¿Ok? Por ahí puede, puede ser que haya algún error, ¿verdad? Pero si hay algo de puntuación, pues ahí lo vamos a resolver juntos. Oiga, Iris. Ok, good. Now, any question? It's time to go. Eh, nuevamente, se me quedan los de... Ah, oh, sorry. Por ahí en el grupo invitaron a, a un webinar que, es, que estuvo ahora en la tarde, ¿verdad? Espero que algunos hayan estado por ahí acompañando a los chicos de Holcim. Ok, eh, como siempre entonces me regalan espacio los demás chicos y se me quedan los de Holcim que me han pedido siempre la foto, ¿verdad? Thank you. See you after vacation. A los demás los veo después de vacaciones, ¿ok? Los de Holcim se me quedan. Ready? Good night, teacher. Good night, teacher. Good night. Good goodbye. Take care. Okay. Tengo listo los de Holcim. Ay, pero hoy no nos peinamos, teacher. Por Dios. Okay. Eh, <risa> Pueden abrir la cámara. Si no, no va a salir en la foto. Peinadito. Okay. Hoy no nos peinamos. Ah, sorry. <risa> Ahí estamos ya. Ok. Thank you. Lo vamos a guardar por acá. Para mandárselos allá a los señores de Holcim. Ok. Ahí estamos. Ok. Goodbye. Take care. God bless you. Goodbye. 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 Goodb